Welcome back. You know what? Everybody needs a little bit of sugar. And you know, they say girls from the South were made with a sugar spice and everything nice. I like to say I'm made with a little bit of brown sugar, but you gotta know your type of sugar. Do you like refined white sugar? Do you like light brown sugar? You can't say that. Oh wait, oh damn. Cut! Why do they call the white sugar refined but not the brown sugar refined? Okay, but no, seriously, let me show you, um, let me talk to you about what type of sugar to use for different dishes that you're going to prepare or that you will prepare for the holidays. So we'll start off with light brown sugar. And um, light brown sugar is nothing but white sugar with a little bit of molasses, not a lot. If you notice the colors are different. Um, the reason that the light brown sugar is able to stick together like uh, this versus the white sugar is because of the molasses. You know, molasses is real thick and sticky. So light brown sugar can be used for um, cooking and baking. Um, it's just more sweet than the refined white sugar. I wouldn't suggest using light brown sugar in things like tea or coffee, where you can use the uh, white sugar in tea or coffee, but it's definitely best to cook with. I like to put it in my oatmeal versus white sugar because it just makes it sweeter and I don't have to use as much. That's my preference. Okay, here we have dark brown sugar. Now, I didn't know the difference between light brown sugar and dark brown sugar other than the tone or the color of the sugar. And the only difference is dark brown sugar has more molasses. More molasses means it's sweeter because molasses is thick and sweet. So now you know the difference between light brown sugar and dark brown sugar. One is, has more molasses and is sweeter, the other one doesn't. Okay, let's move on to one that I hadn't been as familiar with. This is called coconut sugar. Now, allegedly, Coconut sugar is healthier for you because it's made from um, a natural process or it's made from natural of uh, the coconut palm plant. And um, if you notice the grains are a little bit thicker, I'm gonna taste it because why not? It tastes a little bit toastier. Um, I really do like the taste of coconut sugar. I make this cinnamon sugar blend with coconut sugar that I enjoy better. But when you think about the carbs and calories, it has the same amount of carbs and calories as white sugar, light brown sugar, and um, dark brown sugar, but it's made a little bit more natural. So that's the biggest difference between the coconut sugar. If you have a chance, I don't necessarily think you can find this at all grocery stores, but specialty grocery stores will definitely have the coconut sugar. So I recommend trying it out if you just want to try something different and you want to, you know, impress the folks when they come to your house, you ask them, what type of sugar you want? I have some coconut sugar. They'll be like, what is that? And you'll seem like, you know, a little bit more and your food and wine experiences will be elevated a bit. Okay. Now we have powdered sugar or confectioner's sugar. I don't know why they call it confectioner's sugar. This is that sugar that gets every freaking wear and you look like you have been, um, like you're ashy. So they'll put this, they'll sprinkle this on top of different dishes to make it look pretty, your French toast. This is called the icing sugar because sometimes you can add a little bit of water to this and make a paste. You can add some cream cheese and confectioner sugar to make cream cheese icing. That's pretty much how you make it with a little bit of vanilla because you know, sugar and cream cheese without vanilla, it's like, you gotta have the vanilla, right? So this is the, um, icing sugar that you'll use and the decorative sugar because nobody wants to have a dish with like plain white sugar sprinkled around it. Like that doesn't look appetizing. But if you put some powder sugar around there, it's like, oh, it looks pretty, it looks fancy. Um, this does not, to me, it doesn't taste well by itself. Um, it's just so sweet. And it's um, a concoction of refined white sugar and um, cornstarch. So they put cornstarch and the white sugar, and I feel like they do something else, but I can't remember, but it's a couple of ingredients that make this um, confectioner's sugar, and it tastes a little bit different by itself, whereas this coconut sugar tastes, it can stand, it can hold its own, but the confectioner's sugar, not so much. And then we had the classic um, refined, well, they were, say it's refined just because of the way they um, grate it, so it's not really refined, it's just, I guess they were fine if they grated, I don't know. But anyway, we have classic traditional white sugar. You can use this for a multitude of dishes. I wouldn't necessarily say this is the icing dish because if you're making 
um, and icing the grains in the sugar um, are gonna make your icing grainy. That's why you use the um, powdered sugar or the confectioner sugar for icings. This could be used for your coffee, your tea. Um, it's used to make both light brown and dark brown sugar and a multitude of other dishes. But this is your quick little lesson on five sugars. If you know about any other sugars that are out there, feel free to at me and tag me. These are the five that caught my eye and that I saw the most of in a grocery store. Thank you for letting me elevate your food experience. Everybody loves a little bit of cocoa. Everybody loves some brown sugar or sugar. Everybody needs a little bit of sweetness in their life. So I gave you five in overdose.